One, two, three, four, five. It is now time for our main event of the evening. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. And... Oh, I'm so excited. And this just has all the makings of dynamite. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA Podcast. Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the Scrap and Roll MMA Podcast. I'm your host, Sky. This is Damien. And we got some guests with us today. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, hey. How y'all doing? I'm CJ. I'm Mo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so a little bit about us. So me, I've been a MMA fan since like the 90s. So it might sound crazy, but oh, you really wasn't. But we used to, I used to watch them because it was a thing about seeing mixed martial arts uh, like, would a boxer beat a karate guy? Would this wrestler beat this guy? And it was just no holds bars. And then seeing Royce Gracie <laughs> come in with the sick jits and tapping dudes that was like 300 pounds, it, it was crazy. But then, like, you know, I was just a kid during that time, but I really got into it. I'm not, like, seriously, seriously into it. I am. But, like, the late 2000s or early 2000s, um, I have friends that fight and... Give your stuff. So um, I got into it later, but I have always liked martial arts. I used to do Taekwondo when I was younger, and I, I became a second-degree black belt, so I always loved martial hey. arts and karate. Yeah. Um, she be kicking me when I be at home. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so then when we got together, he would watch the UFC and um, WBC and all that, and that's when I really got into it just seeing all the different types of jujitsu and uh, Muay Thai and all that. I'm not a big fan of wrestling, but. Yeah. But we kind of learn to like appreciate wrestling and we understand <clears throat> it a little bit. But back in the day, even in the earlier 2000s of the UFC, you would see people boo, 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 stand them up. And it was like a lot of positioning that we just didn't understand now. And all of that stuff matters to get positioning uh, leverage and things like that is important. So now we see it's very, very well. And back then, people were just standing up. Oh, I'm gonna just beat you up on these hands. And when you got taken down, you couldn't get up. You just looked like a turtle on his back. So it was hard to maneuver because you can't, you can't move. These guys were just too right. good. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And then, like, obviously, we see you guys got the the Izzy stuff going on. So. <laughs> You know, <laughs> just let us know, like, someone like, you know, your favorite fighters. Oh, go ahead. Um, I'll let her start. Well, one of my favorite fighters is Valentina Shevchenko. We call her the queen in this house. <laughs> um, now, real yeah, quick. Yeah. Now, real quick. <laughs> be honest. Did you she think won. That she won her last fight? I did. But the thing is, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, Talia, she didn't do enough. She didn't win because of what she did. She, she was progressing of the fuck-up stat Valentina did. Usually when she hits those throws, Valentina lands on top, mm -hmm. and she... Sky, at the end of those rounds, Valentina was piecing her ass up. Come she on. couldn't move. She couldn't, she couldn't do it. It was one of those razor-thin thin kind of fights where you're like, ah, Talia cannot handle Valentina at all. And if they go back and fight again, <laughs> oh, please believe me. Yes, we did. <laughs> it's one of those things that you, you gotta go. I don't back. think it was like a stolen, like what, what yeah. they call it a. It wasn't a robbery, robbery. type of thing. It, it, it like it's awesome. one of those different things. And what she do on the feet? Nothing. No, because so, the first the two is, rounds, so, was, she was on the ground. But what she do though? Hey, if I got your back, mm -hmm. get up. So get that's up. Hey. It's that easy. Get up. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, is like I, I I see it as it, it takes it's the kind of I, and we talked about this last week. I feel like there's certain judges on certain cars exactly. that you can kind of pick and read. So mm -hmm. some judges will score for the striker versus the wrestler who mm -hmm. got the takedowns with no control time. Versus some cars, you'll see all the yeah. wrestlers are dominating those score cars, even if they don't do any damage or anything, just purely off of control time. Which, you know, like I. I'm a striker myself, and I love striking. Mm -hmm. I think it's fun. It's super dope. It's exciting to watch. Uh, but I've done MMA, and wrestling wrestling is the dominating factor, honestly. 
Mm-hmm. Like when you go up against a wrestler and you don't know what you're doing, like you're pretty much getting manhandled in there. Like, <laughs> and, and it sucks. Like you, you feel kind of defenseless and you don't, you can't really like help it. But yeah, I, I, I feel like, I feel like Shevchenko could have won that fight based off of she's, she's the reigning the champion. <laughs> and when you, when you, yeah, when you, when you don't, uh, what's the saying that they say? They say, yeah, you have to, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it was one of those situations, even though she did very well, a uh, home girl against Valentina, Talia, she yeah. did very well, but, but she I, didn't beat her. And I, I, and I could like, kind of feel that sentiment too. I feel like, um, Valentina had a slight off night. We usually see mm. her as like a, a robot. Yeah. She just goes in. Mm. And I love the way she fights because her stance is always the same when she comes out. It's never switched up. I love that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? She has that Muay Thai style. Knee is yeah, coming you know up. What you're gonna, you know yeah. what you're getting into and from the, the get-go. Is, like I said, 80% of the times when she gets her neck and she's getting that toss and uh, she's throwing it, she's usually in and on top of that and she's getting the ground and pound mm. from that position. She was throwing it and slipping and falling into bad, bad positions. It's not like Talia was putting her in those positions. I mean, get that get that rematch. I guarantee you Valentina Please. washes her. Yeah, because yeah, she's going to wash her. I think Valentina will be set. Beats beats her ass in a rematch. Honestly, beats her I feel like it's almost like the I feel like it's almost like the Amanda Nunez type of type of yeah. ordeal when she lost. It was like it was one of those where she just had an off night. And it was but we all know night. the killer that she is. Mm-hmm. The fourth and fifth round, she was putting them paws on her. Oh, yeah, because yeah. after that was the head clash and her fucking cheek was broken. Oh yeah, that was. Yeah. But that's, oh yeah, yeah, that, that was, thing was swollen, swollen. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the, the head clash mm-hmm. what broke her uh, orbital. Mm-hmm. Oh, was also, it broken? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. broken. Like oh, she had to get damn. surgery and everything. Damn. Yeah, so that's why she was getting pieced up like that. She, that girl could barely nah, see yeah. you. Like, nah, yeah, you definitely yeah. can't. But, but you got a broken <laughs> orbital, you ain't seeing. Yeah, but you know what? She really did do her thing. Um, you know. It was the first time that we seen a fight outside of Amanda Nunez and Shevchenko where we felt like, oh, wait a minute, there's actually a challenge happening here. Mm-hmm. Because let's be honest, we didn't really know who Tony Santos was prior to that. We right. was like, oh, okay, like who is she? You know, I went back and I started seeing it like, oh, she's capable of like knocking people out. Like she was knocking mm-hmm. everybody out until she got to UFC. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, go ahead and continue with you guys' favorite fighters. Sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, so yeah. she said Valentina, our queen in the household. <laughs> we also love Amanda. Mm-hmm. See, the thing is, like, the thing you see, we already started with two women. I'm, I'm huge on women fights. People don't give them the respect okay. they deserve. I love the women's fight. I love watching them fight. Because they go in there slanging back. Some might be off, but guess what? Some men's fights be kind of trash, too. When you just be like, ah. Right. That's 100%. 100%. You know what I'm saying? It'd be big men. Yeah. I, I like and the, I feel like the one. Yeah, I feel like the women's division is is super dope to watch because it's rare to see, like, a knockout or even, like, a finish based Not off of, like, striking. Weekend. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, exactly. Those pause, but yeah, those but nice. when you do see it, it's like, oh shit. And I feel like that's why. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw the press conference, but um, you know, uh Wei Lee was getting all the love from the yeah. American crowd versus yes, the American yes, girl. Yes, yes, and yeah. it's because we love what she does. She get in yeah. there, bro, and she's in there to fucking finish you at any <laughs> means yeah. necessary. Right. And that's what the fuck we fuck with over here. And old girl's a wrestler, and it's kind of like, okay, yeah, you went yeah, off of points or whatever, but what's your style yeah. at? Like, mm-hmm. let me see you, let me see you get down to the nitty-gritty. Like, yeah. I want to see and you I'll- put the hands on somebody. <laughs> I think also um, Sparza's last fight gave people a lot of uh, bad taste in their mouth. We want a little bit more. Exactly what it is. If you're just like, oh man, mm-hmm. she got three leg kicks, you're gonna win the fight. We don't. We don't want to see that. We don't want to see that. Nah. And, and Rose is my girl. She's one of my yeah, favorites. Also, also. it's just like I, I, I love the Rose. Rose. I call her baby Rose. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like we just need a, t- a tiny bit more. Yeah. You, you punched her five yeah. times. You probably would have won the fight, man. But it's like yeah. you. It's five rounds. It was five rounds. Of that. Of that. We need, mm-hmm. we need some more. And I was there. I was there live. Uh, and I was oh. like, I'm about oh, to see that. You bathroom. were there with your brother, right? This is crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. It was terrible. Snooze fest. Disappointing. That was very disappointing. Uh, but back to some of my favorites. Um, I'm going to go like through the years also. So what got me kind of to MMA was um, Rampage. Rampage was mm-hmm. one of my big favorites in Pride. I'm, I'm from back in those days. When he slammed yeah, so uh, Orono. Slam. <laughs> yeah, when he slammed Orono. 
and he used to fight Vanderlei Silva, and the, like Vanderlei whooped his ass. It was like something about that. Um, he got me, and he's black, so I'm gonna go for him. Um, of course, we love your favorite fighter, Max. Oh yeah. Yeah, I call favorite. him Max the God. <laughs> Let's <laughs> the go. Best is the best. Yes. Um. But I like fighters who are, like, smooth, who can do it all, like Max. I like mm -hmm. Dustin. Mm -hmm. I started following Dustin from a documentary I oh, seen yeah. way back in the day before he was in the UFC. Um, who else? A I like John Jones, but he's, like, disappointing with all the bullshit he comes. He could be, like, yeah. the epitome of fight the sports greatest. through all fight yeah. sports. But he just he could be the poster like, child for a UFC MMA. Shit, not even this UFC, just combat sports. His athleticism yeah. is just it's off the wall, but he just has too much drop. He was getting a Hall of Famer, and then he ends up <laughs> doing what he's doing. Yeah. Like, it's like, come on, yeah. bro. You got to chill. You got to chill, and then he yeah. don't fight. Um, well, uh, Tony Ferguson yeah. is one of mine. Hey, I know let's he's on, go. I know always. He's, on, uh, yeah. he's always, but the thing is, but, if he fights, we yeah, going, we're for, going him. for him. We don't care who he's fighting. We're going for him. Yeah, uh, yeah we have those fighters that we... Izzy, of course, Izzy, like, and the thing is, like, when he was like, oh, who's gonna win? I was like, I don't give a fuck who's gonna win. I'm going for this person because that's my person. <laughs> so, and that's, yeah. You know what? We need more of that in MMA, because, like, mm -hmm. every time you see, like, you see how they started trashing Kamara like that? Uh, I'm like, Kamara was working that man throughout the whole fight. Five and all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Now. Like, he gets knocked out, and now he's trashed. Like, now y'all yeah, just yeah. going crazy, like, MMA. Those people, those people yeah. bet on him. That's why. Yeah. But you notice, <laughs> they, I don't want to like get into money. the like race thing. You see how they like a lot of people treat like the black fighters. They're like, oh, they're this, they're all oh, this, this, and they be preying on those downfalls. They're like, bro, mm -hmm. let them, let them shine. They, they hate to see yeah. him just shining like that. And it's awesome that hey, we, have, one oh, of my... we used to have three Nigerians. Oh. <laughs> My bad. I was gonna say one of my uh like diamonds in the rough that I, I love to watch no matter anytime he's fighting, I'm I'm catching that fight is uh Bobby Knuckles. Uh, hey, uh, Bobby Green. Oh Bobby, Bobby Green, Green oh, man. I really yeah, I really yeah, fuck with him. I call him OG Bro Green. is smoother than that. <laughs> yeah, I love Bruh, him. Yeah, I, I really fuck with him. Every time he got a fight on his yeah. last fight was canceled because he's going through all that, that drug mm -hmm. testing bullshit. But bro, he got the shit from Walmart. Man, I, <laughs> I love that shit, man. Like he really in there to like give a show, yeah. you know, and you could tell right off the bat. I was he ain't, so he, mad he ain't with the game. <laughs> oh, I fuck with him. And he was actually at one of my street beast fights. He saw me win my fight. So I was like, Oh, oh shit, I gotta get a photo. And ever since then, like that's been my dog. Like yeah, every time I see him, I'm hundred percent. No matter who OG. he's fighting. Speaking of OGs, uh, Glover, he's oh, one yeah. of my favorites too from way back in the day. I call him the OG. Oh, oh yeah. So, so too, Anderson. And of course, OG, we about to we about to see uh, Frankie Edgar fight. That's an oh, OG man. right there. I guess we'll, I if guess you we'll ever seen one. I guess we'll, I guess we'll get to yeah. If you want to talk about dogs, he's a dog of all dogs if you really want to talk about mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, he is, and you know, oh, like and Br Brandon Moreno like, too. You know, oh, I love Brandon. I love Brandon. Yes, I love Brandon. You should see in San oh, Diego yeah, yeah. when you drive towards TJ, they have a big mural oh. of his face down there. It's amazing. For real? Oh my god! Yeah, that's I'm, dope. It's off the five. You, you, it's too fast. Okay. You can't just hop out and just take a picture. I'll be like, if you wanted to. Yeah, he's all. He's yeah. definitely high yeah. on my list too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Next game warrior. You're gonna yeah. have to kill that man and never get him. him. Hey. I can't wait for four. I hope he oh, beats god. his ass. <laughs> oh my hey, god. The third fight his was close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I need to go back like and watch it again. The third fight. I. Yep. Yeah, I think we need to go back and watch that one again. Yeah, I need to go back and watch that again. Yeah, definitely need. To, oh, what you say? You, you didn't think so, Damien? No, no, no. I don't oh. think so. Oh, you, you didn't think so? One? And I and I like and I like Brandon Moreno, but yeah, I saw Figgy winning that. Honestly, okay. it was like more yeah. Figgy with more power shots and Moreno with yeah. more technical pop, 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 pops movement. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, oh, is it's like them. he dropped yeah. him a couple. Of, but it wasn't like he put him on exactly. his ass type he dropped of shit. Them. I mean, he he did drop him though. Yeah. He hit him with some power shots that sat his ass down, and he didn't do the he didn't re, he didn't reciprocate with that. You know what I mean? So as I as around, it was like ten seconds left. Yeah. Hey, but if Each I'm a casual was, watching yeah. the fight, like that's 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 the memorable moment. You know what I mean? What what was Brandon Moreno's memorable moment? Yeah, you can't really right. think of nothing because that's what happened. And yeah, so I, See, I respect they're, that decision. They're talking about that fight, so that's three fights. The first one was super close. <laughs> 
Second one, Moreno tapped his ass out. The third one was super was close. No, the first one was a draw, wasn't it? It was a draw. It was a draw. Yeah, it was a draw. Yeah, was a draw. So yep. that's three fights that was... Nah, yeah, me. they, they you know neck and neck right they're they're there in the, in the talent, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's definitely I'm like a Moreno. Um... Assassin baby, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Yeah. yeah. Um. And so, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the card because UFC 281 is beyond stack like I can't get honestly enough. like we talked about UFC 280 and we were excited because we wanted to see what is what was going to happen between Islam mm-hmm. and um and Charles Oliveira but like and we said that card was stacked but when you look at when you start to really go down this card this it card is crazy oh, yeah, I'm this, just like the people that's this on the, the prelims year. yeah this like the people that's December. on the prelims is, is absolutely insane Oh, yeah. Absolutely this one, insane. This one closing out the show for the year. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and um, I'm, I'm hoping that it happens that way. Like, I'm hoping that, like, UFC 282 doesn't go too crazy, because if not, then that means that I'll get some free tickets, and I'm, I'm trying to be there for Patty the Batty. <laughs> I want to see him in person. I want to see him fight in person. I want to just hear the crowd and everything. I love but, that, too. Um, I'm not a big Patty fan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big Patty I was, fan. I was there. Like, it's, I was the first one that called his name. So, you know, oh. like, we were sitting right there where they walk out at. And I was like, Patty. And then Danny goes, we love you, Patty. And then everybody turned to look. And that's when we started doing the, oh, Patty the Patty. <laughs> oh, um, shit. But yeah. that chant is you, super you were at San Diego, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, we mm-hmm. were. That's another one. Yeah. Cruz is one of my favorites. Man. Yeah. And, and you know what? Well, it, it was... I'll... I, um, San Diego was lit. The, the whole it was. Part. We was turned the fuck up. The whole the whole shit was live. San Diego brought that. Sh- but the thing is crazy. San Diego has a big, big, big MMA. I don't I don't know if you call it mm-hmm. community or uh, yeah. a staple. Yeah, yeah, I guess community because there's hella gyms out here, mm-hmm. hella fighters out here. Um, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. I don't know why Dana don't put more fights out here. Yeah, because like I said, me and her back in the day when we were going to the fights, it was Strike Force yeah. fights. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. UFC wasn't even coming out here at that time. It was maybe one, mm-hmm. but we went back to back to back years. Uh, Dana needs to start coming out here more. Uh, he sell out. I'm sure they will. I'm yeah, sure they, they will. will. Cause like, I don't remember. I think Damien and I was talking about it like a couple weeks ago. That fight uh, with, I think his name is Nate the Train or something like that. The 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 Alabama dude and the oh, African yeah. that was fighting. Oh yeah. And he was like oh, stump stump God. clap yeah. stump stump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That fight was. Abs- I need to go back and look up that the, fight because uh, the, um, that the fight arena was, crazy. was going crazy yeah. easy in that fight. Yeah. There'd be like, some hidden gems in there. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That's and then and then Angela Hill had a great fight. Yeah. She was that's an old girl. Uh, the thing is, uh, oh, she's one of my favorite cool women too. fighters. Um, I was working in a mm-hmm. bar in uh, Chula Vista. The, the bar was closed. It's slow as hell. Mm-hmm. Her and her trainer pull up, and I just, and you know me, I know fight. You know, most people probably don't know who she is. I'm sitting here talking yeah. her head off. Like, <laughs> she's like, oh, damn. <laughs> I'm like, I'll be going for you. And woo. she was hella nice, her little voice. We always go for her. And she uh-huh. gets um, she gets shafted a lot, too, though, in her fights. Because she goes to decision. She does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Her 100%. Record shit, I agree with her record, that. Like, she's like Jorge Masvidal. Her record mm-hmm. is like yeah. six and four, or like super close in the wins losses. Mm-hmm. Split like, decisions. Yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of those fights, she probably could have stopped. Sorry, touching. She was uh, done. Came nah, on, the, yeah, yeah, on the top end. Mm-hmm. Oh, dog. George is also one of our favorites yeah. too. We used to watch George. Yeah, I rock with her. Mm-hmm. And she funny as hell too. I don't know if you guys follow her on Instagram, but she always make a funny ass content. I'm like, <laughs> all right, like then, she made me a fan of her personality, not even just her like fighting skill. You feel me? And then the right. UFC hates on her coming out with her cosplay. I'm oh, like, bro, yeah. that's the kind of stuff people want to see. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but but you're gonna release the UFC video game where you could dress up your character and do this right. and that, but you ain't gonna <laughs> let real fighters dress up and shit. Like, let them do that shit because yeah. people yeah. really like that. Like, people yeah. will pay to come see her because they dress as her their favorite crossplay anime mm-hmm. character yeah. or whatever. You know, it brings she more came out as as what well. communities. She was like, she came out as like a street fighter. Yeah. 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 It's a god or something. She always comes out as something and then they they cut it short. (laughs) But let's go ahead and just hop right into it. So, New Zealand, y'all think, uh, we're not even going to start with that. All right. So, we're going to start off Carlos Uberg against 
Nicolay, not gonna try to pronounce his last name. I, I thought you were. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I start doing that, go ahead and give me a job on the desk. <laughs> I heard that. Um, I'm not familiar with his opponent. Obviously, I've Neither. seen Carlos fight um, yeah. a couple of times. Um, I'm rocking with Carlos just because yeah. of New Zealand. It's a New Zealand type of card. You feel me? <laughs> you think they're gonna be able to come in and get the sweep? No, hey, no, he might. He got he got a lot of he got a I, they, they got a lot of support right now. Is this the numbers right. thing? Is this the numbers? So I'm like, no, somebody gonna catch a L. I am going for. I think Albert it's gonna though. be Dan. I think so Honestly, too. I think oh it's gonna be damn! Because right, a we'll lot of people. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to. Yeah, you're right. We'll <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not familiar with Montel Jackson, but I am uh, familiar with Julio Arce. Arce. I'm going Arce. Yeah. Yeah. Arce, too. Yeah, yeah I'm going He got hands, and he hits yeah. hard, too, for that division. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Um, <laughs> Michael versus Mike Troy. Trezano. Yes. Who'd you pick? I think she picked I'm Troy, I'm not familiar right? with either, really, but I picked Troy. Oh, I think I picked Troy, too. I, I know Mike Troy. Trezano. It's, I, it's one of those... No, did I pick Troy? No, you picked Trezano. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah I'm not necessarily... I'm, I know that I've seen Troy fight before, but I'm not familiar uh, with Michael. But then, like, once I got here, and I <laughs> seen that Carolina Kovacavich was Who on the got? early prelims... <laughs> early prelims. She ain't even at the top of the early prelims. That's nuts. Listen, I said, oh, wait a minute. What the fuck is going on in this car? This car has got to be thick. It's got to be thick because, yep. I mean... Especially with her coming back and her last fight, like she finally was able to get that dub. Um, that was absolutely amazing. So once I seen that she was on this, I was like, okay, show me what's really going on. And then mm-hmm. when I seen that they were allowing um I cannot pronounce Ottoman's last name, um, against Matt Frivola. Azitar Azitar. Azitar. Yeah, it's something like that. This is the dude at Fight Island who had that dude break into Fight Island. Was a uh, climbing. Oh, the that's the guy. The that's the this guy is, right there. Yes, and remember, like um, Dana was like, "No, we're never gonna let nah, him. They, we're never they gonna pulled let him, him right." Yeah, they pulled him from the fight or whatever, but they were like, "We're never gonna let him fight in the UFC again." But yet here he is, and his two fights have been vicious knockouts. Um, mm-hmm. This is gonna be a banger. I'm still like, going he's for not the Steam favorite. Roller, though. Hey, he's, <laughs> hey, Steam he's not the favorite, but I might, I might go for that man just because I feel like he got a point to prove now. He hey, got to fight for his job. Who got to fight for his job right Azitar? now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember uh, back when Fight Island was going on, and there was that mm-hmm. guy that was, um, yeah, that was him talking about he was coming to give him some potatoes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Y'all over here switching wristbands. Climbing balconies. Yeah, doing this, that, and the other. All right, Brad. Oh, so who'd you guys pick right. in the Carolina fight? I'm oh, I got Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, we should talk about her a little bit. Because we're okay. psychopaths. Yeah. And we, we end up going through <laughs> and just... Because we watch so many fights, and I have so many mm-hmm. people in my head. And I just... I don't have it just like a damn memory bank, but I'm like, oh, I remember that fight. So we went back, it wasn't too long ago, we watched her fight, JJ, and she was scrapping with her. She has hands, and she's, yeah, Yeah. she's very, we're like, oh, she's very, very good. And it's like, we see fights, and we be like, there's so many on the card, and you be like, okay, they go on, people win or lose or whatever. And we're like, Mm -hmm. damn, she was, she was right there with her, Mm -hmm. giving her a scrap. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm going with Carolina. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say the reason why I'm rocking with Carolina is because she's very durable. Like she, mm-hmm. she takes damage but doesn't have any quit in her. She, she got that dog in her. She keeps pushing forward and at least trying to win the fight. You know, so that's why I really rock with her because she actually got she got some good stand up. She got some mix ups and everything. Very, I've been watching very, her, very good. And I'm like, okay, like I see you. Like you ain't you ain't one of the top names, but I'm seeing you and recognizing your talent. Mm-hmm. And who am I? You know what and I mean. So fight. I'm like, I, I'm really rocking with her because, yeah, she nice. But she don't get me wrong, because I'm kind of, I'm kind of biased because I don't really know <laughs> Juarez like that. You know, she's I, good. I she doesn't say. have a lot of experience in the octagon. She, she barely oh, yeah. just came. And Carolina, around. yeah, Carolina definitely got that experience being yeah, up there with the, with the champs mm-hmm. and shit. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm rocking with her 100. percent 
She better not disappoint me. You talking, you talking all this good shit about her. Nah, she going and, and, and that's normally how it happens too, man. I tell you, like I be rooting for people and shit. Nah, they always, I be posting on my story like, oh, let's go so and so, and then they end up. She know, like, you know, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. She she gets on, she gets on me because we did that with who? Tony? Tony. Yeah, we did that with yeah. Tony and fucking Gaethje put his. Oh my god, we're like, all right, never again. I will never repost. And that's the thing, if you don't like. uh I'm like big on uh not superstition, but like once yeah, she nah, had her Valentina shirt on during that fight, I said go take that shit off. <laughs> go, go. I was like, nah, we're not doing that shit. Nope, go take it off. And then she ended up winning. Yeah. See? <laughs> yeah. Hell no. Once I established a connection, I'm like, cause like earlier today, I was thinking to myself, damn, I was there for the Michael Chandler versus Tony, and I was there for uh, uh Diaz versus Tony. I'm like, maybe it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, but yeah, next. that's uh, the end of that that's the end of the car right there yeah and then um andre P- petrosky versus mm-hmm. wellington Terman. i'm going with andre strictly because mm-hmm. like yep. i watched Ultimate him fighter. on tough yes yep. he, ba- he, he bangs looked- though he had a uh, two fights after the ultimate fighter and he mm-hmm. came out and did his shit too yeah click, on him, him click too. on him real quick yeah did you he has the big beard tough i didn't i haven't watched tough yet I'm gonna need to, but you need to. A lot of people, I'm telling you, watch all that shit. They <laughs> sleep on tough. Yeah, hey, it be kind of trash, hey, but I don't know. I'll watch it. Based off of this, oh, you, uh, over Mil- here. oh yeah, What's Wellington. Yeah, turn me. He, I don't know. He got some experience in there, and I'm sure like. He's an underdog too, and one thing that I've been rocking with is underdogs. I don't know why, <laughs> but I Coming find up. myself always rocking with the underdogs. Like Sean O'Malley, I'm like, oh wow. Yes. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. so big fan. Oh, of I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Terman because he got the experience. <laughs> like he, yeah, that I, is I a lot of like experience. Are, I feel like people are hating on. I, I feel like people are looking at at Andre like he's supposed to do something, but. When you're in the UFC and you're up against the, this ain't tough. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. these are the killers mm-hmm. right here who have a job and are fighting for their job. So I'm gonna rock with I'm gonna rock with tournament. Didn't we see somebody just come off of tough and like actually Trey got Sean pieced Gore. the fuck up? Wait, uh, which one? Trey Sean. Uh, so, he fought last week. He finally somebody, won. Somebody recently came off. And of he tough almost and got, he, he was losing. Beat the hell up. Who was it? Was it him? I, I know. Trey I, Song, I couldn't tell you the name, but I remember watching it like but maybe like a few weeks ago. Trey Sean like, oh, lost. Shit, this person was off a of tough. I think they had an undefeated record at that point too, mm-hmm. and dude got whooped on. And it's like, you know, hey, welcome to the UFC. Like it'd be you like that, bro. I think you might be talking about the guy that came off the Contender Series. Um, oh, maybe. He was like. He had blonde hair, and he called himself the ladies' man or pleasure man or something like that. Oh, I can't. He fights with um, he fights out of a uh, Hamzat's camp, and mm, okay. and I I didn't like him when he won uh because I didn't like him when oh, he won that my... contender series. But okay. uh yeah, we'll just go ahead and skip past that because next up, <laughs> Aaron Blanchfield <laughs> versus Molly. Uh, you got yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Aaron Blanchfield versus Molly McCann. Scott, we can go uh-huh. shot for shot for the whole card, though, if you want to. We'll do that towards the top. We'll do it. Oh, oh you trying to no, do those hey, shots we again? Doing the whole, we can do the whole guard. We go eight straight. Man, listen. You Don't know what with happened me. with those Sponsored shots? Sponsored by Cash Cocktails. You know, it, it, there you go. Hey, go ahead and throw your plug in there. Yes. <laughs> I'm about to sit right now. Listen. In. <laughs> we... Listen, I don't be taking shots like that. And I was like, okay, Danny. It, well, I was in the middle of editing it, and I was like, oh, shit, we, we forgot to take the shots. So when I get up, we go and we take those shots, three shots, back to back. And I was like, <laughs> I came and sat back down and was like, mm, <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I feel like toasty over here. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'm not doing them shots no more. Like, and if I do them shots, it, it'll be on like the main car. Like, we'll do it out of those yeah. five ones, but I ain't doing the whole yeah, car. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. For real. Um, Meatball Molly versus Aaron Blanchfield. I don't think I've ever seen Aaron fight before. Have you guys? I have. Yeah. I gotta. I have to. Re- I have to go she back and see. Tracy, I think they were saying. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't really remember her, but she must have done something oh, to be in the top Maverick. fifteen. She beat Miranda okay. Maverick. Mm-hmm. Um, Norman Dumont, that was canceled. So, yeah, I probably have to go on her name. 
I don't feel like going through all her shit. Well, I'm going to say she's she in the top 15. Alert. And yeah. based off of Molly's last performance, even though she won, like with that knockout in glorious fashion, I'm not completely <laughs> sold on her. Ooh. You know, because that, cause that's that's one fight. And honestly, like the that girl was that the she was fighting. second spinning elbow, though. Yeah. Yeah, true. But back the girl that she was fighting was kind of reckless. You know what I mean? <laughs> not no disrespect, but she was coming at her kind of reckless. And she kept taunting her and stuff. And it's like, yeah. oh, that was a black That's going to catch up to you. But this girl is already in the top 15 with a great record. Like, I feel like this is probably going to be Molly McCain's, uh, McCain's, uh, hardest fight in the UFC. Obviously based on the paper, it is her hardest fight, but she beat I feel her like this one's really I feel like this one's really gonna give it to her and she's gonna lose. I feel like she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna lose to Aaron. Dang. That's how I feel. I, yeah. that's just my feeling right now. I think Molly gonna put them paws on her. <laughs> she's yeah, a because... dog. She showed me a lot of dog mentality when she fight. Like she's scrappy mm-hmm. as hell. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going I, for Molly too. I am really partial right now to Molly. I just me love too. Meatball. Like when I <laughs> met her, she had that same energy. Like and just coming off the wins and her being around Patty, like the energy is good. Um, obviously, so Aaron, I do know is like more of a grappler, more of a wrestler. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I did hear like in the uh, in the media scrum, uh, Molly was talking about how she brought in more wrestlers for this, especially mm-hmm. because um, Molly had went up against. What's her name? McMahon, who you know is a yeah. is a big wrestler. Um, yeah. So Sarah, if Sarah, she can Sarah. deal with the if she can deal with the wrestling well, not accept being at the bottom, getting back up, and keeping it on the feet, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for Molly. But if it ends up just being, you know, if she gets out wrestled, yeah, hey, which is which is probably more likely than not. I feel like like but that's Molly's why when I saw the cage, though. What? that's She's why when I saw the Sean O'Malley fight. Like she was getting taken down, but he was popping right back up, and yeah. I was like, "Oh shit!" You know that that like that stuck with me. So yeah, we are gonna see. Yeah. But ah, I think this is Molly's time. She's been on a trajectory like shooting to the top, mm-hmm. and this is the top fifteen right now that she's in, and this is gonna be her biggest test for sure. I yeah. think the judges need to start looking at that too because first watching that fight, we I think we're conditioned of the O'Malley fight. I think we're conditioned to see. As soon as a takedown happens, we're just like, ah, like, boom, he's starting to win the fight. So mm-hmm. we're conditioned from fights, fights, fights before when we've seen the other fighters that happen and nothing happens in that round, and they end up winning that fight. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, okay, those takedowns mean more than, um, you know, the, the combat or whatever's happening on the feet. Um, so then we've seen Sean O'Malley. So my first thought, I don't want to go all the way back to that fight, but just he said it and made me think. Okay. Excuse me. Um, me and her watched the fight again because I first thought was like, "Oh shit, Jan won this." So when he mm-hmm. called it, I was like, "Oh damn, he kind of got robbed. He kind of got robbed." <laughs> I'm like, "Damn." I'm like, "All right, we settled yeah. it because we had a lot of shit going on that day." Um, we watched it Didn't Monday. It? We watched it Monday because I usually try to let it settle and then we'll go back and uh, watch the fights again. And I'm like, "Okay, Sean is hitting him with these jabs. He's moving." Yeah, he mm-hmm. got the takedown, but he ain't really doing shit with him. Mm-hmm. And he popped back up. Second round, mm-hmm. he's getting into it. He stuck his ass. Boom. Okay, Yon came back, stuck him. Boom. He gets him down. All right, he got that round. Third round, he come through big ass knee. He's sticking Damn. him. He's moving him. Wow. He gets the takedown. Imanari rolled on his ass. <laughs> Granby rolled on him. Boom. He's yeah. back up. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, all right. I'm like, he's he's touching him. Bop, bop. Like Izzy says, I ain't gotta throw bombs as long as I'm touching him. Boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Accurate. Yeah, I don't. He's like, I don't. I don't throw. Uh, I aim and shoot. But I'm like, yeah. I think in my, I changed my thought to be like, oh, he won this fight now. So I think mm-hmm. these judges need to get on a court to be like, where they score a takedown compared to everything else. Is it a takedown and you exactly. get back up? It doesn't mean nothing. Or is it takedown you right. get beat up a little bit? Doesn't right. mean more. So it's just like, because sometimes we see fights and we be like, bro, he got taken down. And he did absolutely nothing, but the person got back up and they end up winning the fight. And we're like, a lot of fights. Yeah, a lot of fights happen like that. So it might be a change in the judging now, or just that person. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, definitely need some consistency when it comes to the judging. Because yeah, it you know it messes with people's 
not only their pay, but it's messing with their records. It's messing with their, exactly. you know, their capability their career, of who they're able yeah. to fight next. Like, like, and and these, this isn't like a football game. You know what I'm saying? Like basketball. Like people are in here getting punched and kicked in the head. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Like this, it, it matters. Um, and then Dominic Reyes versus Ryan Span. When I seen that this was on the prelims, I was like, <laughs> what? Dominic Reyes? First, the I thing is crazy. It's not even headlining it. It's not even headlining. Yeah. that's a former yeah, champion. He, Exactly. Mm-hmm. Period. Because he beat John Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Oh shit! Did I still talking oh, about that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. You Damn. Say? I called him a former champion, but he he was in line for the fight. I'm tripping. Nah, yeah, he was hey. up there. Nah, that he was man a contender. Got it done. I was. I want to go back and watch it again. Danny. I was watching that fight with Danny, and I was like, damn, somebody finally did it. Like, he beat John <laughs> Jones. Like, as they were getting ready to read, I was like, oh, yeah, like, he won. I had him four to one. Yeah, when they said, and and still, I was like, John Jones can't be beat. <laughs> the yeah, judges exactly. ain't going to let it happen. The, the universe don't want him to be beat. Only John Jones can beat John Jones, honestly. Yeah. That's how, that's that's how, how really you say it. Is. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, right? Only John Jones can beat John Jones. And this man's still <laughs> taking this sweet ass time to get back in that octagon. Bro, yeah. if you don't get your ass up in that octagon and start fighting again, hey. we're trying you to see that heavyweight. I think he doesn't want, you know, what I loved about Izzy is like, I don't give a fuck if I lose. Who cares? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, yes. I and we respect him to, for that shit. Yeah, he wants to keep yeah. that. Of course, he has that one loss on the DQ, but it's like he don't want a human to actually beat him. I don't know, man. Like, but maybe see, like the, these people what, to get older and go up to heavyweight and fight him because I think he'll watch deep end. The way bruh, his size that's what I'm is, saying. His athletic ability high, is like the high risk, high reward is there. But if you ain't taking them risks, like what are you doing? Because it. <laughs> The, the, the light heavyweight division is just chilling right women. now. Yeah. So, like, like if he goes, on, if he goes in and fights Yuri right now, John, oh, no, that's the 205. Yeah. Now I'm talking 205. Yeah. Shit. He should go back down to 205 and go get his belt back, go up to heavyweight. If he's talking about right, being I'm that saying, dude. dude. He got to do something, bro. You got to be active in this sport because you get older and older and it's three time years passing, you get slower and slower. And these youngins are coming up trying to look, take your spot, bro. And they're going to be a little bit quicker, a little bit sharper because they didn't see all Tommy your tactics. Look at Tommy Aspinall. Look at Tom mm-hmm. Aspinall. Look it, at, Aspinall, um, yeah. Be, because at, you know why? John. The John people that are just like John. Man, they got a lot of they got a lot of tape on them. So we got a lot to study on this guy. Me, I'm up and coming. People aren't really watching me. I don't have a whole lot of tape. You know what I mean? So you mm-hmm. can't really study for me because I'm that unpredictable young up and comer. I feel like that's mm-hmm. what is that's what it's gonna end up being. John Jones need to get back in that octagon and start getting angry, and this, man. This dude got yoked the hell. I'm just I was just running through things in my head. I'm like, people think he's like cause he fought at two oh five. He went up to going up to heavyweight. He's six four, like two fifty five right now. He big. Oh, he gonna fit right in. The thing is, I don't think people don't understand. If you look at his brothers that are in the NFL, that's the same Mm -hmm. gene pedigree. So he fought lower, and they big. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, this motherfucker looked like he came from Wakanda and damn self. You know (laughs) what I'm saying? Like, so and he's fast and athletic, and that's what I always tell about. I talk to her about if you notice when these younger kids come up. So back in the day when I was watching it, it was this ball brawl, pop, 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 drunk fighting, bam, Chuck Liddell, mm-hmm. Tito Ortiz, sitting yeah. there swinging and banging, who's the toughest motherfucker in the ring? Now yep. these kids are coming up who are athletic, who can mm-hmm. move side to side, who can move their heads and down, who kind of do other sports and now are coming into fighting. Athleticism means a lot. That's when we talk about Valentina. She's athletic. A lot of girls aren't athletic who can move their mm-hmm. feet and things like that. Yeah, you can throw hands, but can you move? That that mm-hmm. athleticism means a lot. Yep. And John yeah. has that athleticism. Just, yes. And I was just on um, another podcast on Friday. It should be coming out soon. It's called Still Friends Podcast. Um, and I was talking about that exactly. The fact that, like, in the early 90s, wasn't nobody doing Like, MMA was just an idea. It was like, hey, put these people together, like you said earlier. And then mm-hmm. early 2000s, but now that you're looking at it, we're in 2022. 22. These mm-hmm. same kids that were that was watching MMA are now adults that are mm-hmm. now fighting in MMA. Mm-hmm. They've been training for years now. So these ain't like 
the competition is only getting better. Like you're seeing more well-rounded young fighters. You know, now mm-hmm. we're gonna have you know Raul Rosa Jr. fighting. You know, December tenth. Um, you know, the, well, he's eighteen now. He, he yeah, 18 he just in October, turned eighteen. Yep. But like, you're gonna see more and more like these younger kids come in and like really do well and be well-rounded because like they've been watching it for so long and they've had mm-hmm. more time to train and they had the opportunity, you know, to get inside of all of these different mixed martial arts mm-hmm. at a younger age and. Yeah, so, when you sit off and you take three years off. And these guys, these she, young she kids, like up. you said, these young kids are now having, instead of looking at, you know, LeBron's LeBron, but now they can look at a fighter and be like, oh, shit, I like Izzy, mm-hmm. I like Kamaru, I like Charles, I like this dude, I want to do... Our son been doing jujitsu since he was five years old. Yeah. he's He's been yeah. at 10th Planet. He has champions in his gym. He was yeah, with no, Liz. Is no joke. Yeah, he's with uh, Juju. He was with... um. Uh, a limelight. Yeah. So he's at the gym where he's learning things. You know, he comes in and out of wanting to do the shit, but mm-hmm. he's in it since five years old. He's ten years. That's yeah. or he's ten years old now. He, that's five years. Mm-hmm. And a lot more people are putting their kids in, into, into it now. Yes. Types of gyms early. And then when you yeah. can cross train your kid and like, all right, you're gonna do jujitsu for this amount of time. Then you're gonna go play basketball, and then you're gonna go run track. And then you're going to go play football. Mm-hmm. And then you're back to jujitsu or wrestling or doing this thing. Your mm-hmm. athleticism just kicks back up. It's not, you're not just pigeonholed into one thing. And I think, exactly. and a lot of these fighters kind of started late. They're like, oh, I'm a wrestler. Then I'm going to just mm-hmm. come fight because I'm going to be a brawler. And just start slugging them out. And you know how that goes. Exactly. And those, those were beautiful fights back in the day. <laughs> like the Chuck Liddells and Tito yeah. Ortiz and Vanderlei's and all that. Yeah. Those yeah. were just, those are yeah. money to uh, get paid for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're entertaining, but like now the yes. sport has progressed so much that now it's like, mm-hmm. man, you can't get away. You cannot get away with just being a specialist. You got to be mm-hmm. well rounded. Everything. You have um, to do everything. You have to know everything. You That's gotta what be we well always rounded. talk about that. You have to do everything more than semi decent. Because if you're just <laughs> yes. a wrestler, you, you you can get away with that. If you're just a striker, you're gonna get taken down. You can't get. It. That's why <laughs> boxers can't transition over here. Exactly. Your feet are stuck but in the mud. Shout out to Clarissa Shields because yep. she's trying. It don't work she's the that only way. One that's trying. Um, and then also, yeah, shout out to uh, Julia uh, Juliana Mil- Miller. Yeah, because, Juju. Uh, she's a mm-hmm. dog. Yeah, she yeah. is a dog. Like you need to go back and watch Tough, Damien. I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You didn't think as you're watching Tough, like you don't think she's gonna get it done. You, you know, Mm-mm. I think she was even picked last. Again, another person that's like picked last. You know, mm. people not thinking you're gonna get it done. And she went inside there and did her thing, and she had an amazing fight. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. she had a great okay, debut yeah. too. She won her debut too. She Damn. debuted already. Yes. When? Let me In pull the UFC? it up. Yes. When? I don't think she fought yet. No, I'm telling you, I I seen her fight. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up. I th- could have swore that she um. Debuted. No, I don't think she fought yet. Or maybe, I been hell watching maybe her. you know what? You're absolutely she right. Did a, that was just she a did tough a finale. Match. She did a grappling match. match. Yeah, that finale. She was. Yeah, she did her she shit. Point. That's what and I'm talking. Yeah, that's what I meant because I was. Yeah, you're right. She, that was against Brogan, and I thought I thought mm-hmm, that Brogan mm-hmm. was gonna be able to get it done, but once again, Juliana came through and was like, Nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna happen. She has a lot of heart. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Back, back to the card. We all got Dominic Reyes and Ryan Spann. I'm going Ooh. Reyes. You know why she going? Reyes. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Spann. I'm gonna go I'm Spann. Gonna, I'm going Superman too. I just want him to win because he was been on a downfall. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly his... why I'm picking Spann. <laughs> I was. You know. I was um looking at Dominic Reyes as uh his media uh scrum today and mm-hmm. i don't he been out there with alex and uh glover mm-hmm. oh, so he switched my training camps and went out there and been training oh, with did? them okay he didn't yeah. got his mental right he hasn't fought in over a year and a half like i feel like he coming back with like different energy and he's gonna like see because if if you think about the yuri fight he was doing really well in that yuri fight he was winning those rounds and then you know that spinning elbow sent him into a, the shadow round <laughs> but is he That's really back I mean. though mentally though I feel I like so. I think I the think time so. off mm, I don't know man and a he lot said of, he was working on himself that, that's, that mm-hmm. kind of stuff to me I feel I hear what things say and how they say things and I feel like he has a, a sports mental block a little bit 
He was but riding high off that John Jones fight. He was riding super high, like, fuck, I was right there. Fuck, I won that fight. Ah, and then he came back, got mm -hmm. slept. Mm -hmm. Jan slept his ass, too, after that fight. Yeah. So it's... Yeah. I think he, I think he might have a mental block. A mental block, of course, and then... Yeah. Span's black, so I'm going for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we got he, Raverdale versus he got hands up. <laughs> Mokano. Um, this is super interesting. This fight is super interesting. It really is. Um, mm. Who'd you pick? I picked Moicano. But... You got Moicano? Yeah. Me too. I'm Moicano. leaning towards Moicano too. Because when Moicano stepped in last minute to fight, um, he, told, he fought Dos Anjos, fight? right? Oh, oh, is that Dos Anjos? Yeah. Oh, Remember he Dos stepped in Anjos last almost minute? killed him. <laughs> he did almost kill him. But he literally Bro, stepped in died. on like three, four yeah. days notice. Flew yeah. in yeah. from Brazil. Like wasn't ready to fight necessarily. Yeah. Fight an ex champion, but, a real ex champion. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I, I just had a yeah. flashback of the fight in my head. Bro, uh, Dos Anjos started taking it easy on him in the, the, he did. the end of the round. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yup. I just had that flashback. It just came back to me. He was just like chilling for a little bit. Damn. Yeah. He felt he bad. And even in the yeah. presser, like, mm -hmm. he said it. But, like, you could tell by the way he was fighting. Like, he was piecing him Yeah. Up. He almost mm -hmm. killed him. Yeah, that was, it was, it was pretty brutal. I was feeling And they were like, stop it, stop it. And they just didn't stop the fight. We're like, bro, he's almost going to die. Hey. Yeah. Hey, he he hung in there though. That's the <laughs> shit that that I be saying. Yeah. I be like, all right, man. Like this man really here to like try to get up there. Like, he really trying <laughs> to take Dos Anjos as a name to to build up and yeah. Sometimes bro, you gotta do that, that that type of shit, bro. Like you can't mm -hmm. like ain't no training that's gonna help you with that. Like mm -hmm. when you got it in you, like it's it's a it's a beneficial factor, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. So I'm I'm a rock with old boy uh, Moicano on this one. Like no no disrespect to Riddell. I mean, cause Riddell hella good. I mean, boy yeah, thick he just as got hell. Choked out. He just got choked out by uh, Jalen Turner. Mm -hmm. I got Riddell. The, the tarantula, time. but that's the tarantula. Yeah, I got Riddell. Though. <laughs> he trains with he a whole bunch right. of killers. Yeah, he trains with a whole bunch of killers, bro. He needs a win, cause he, he lost his win. fight before that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's on a two uh, O two. Yeah, fight I think right he now. lost the Fazis. Mm. Yeah, but that's Fazis, man. man. I, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. But oh, Moicano <laughs> is Moicano. Exactly. He lost to Do Dos Anjos. Like that's Dos Anjos, ex champion, bro. Been fighting forever, still up there in the top divisions. His you last me, fight, so. and his last win was against Jude Dober. A decision. Mm -hmm. Drew Dober's alright. Don't mm him Drew like Dober's that. Yeah. No, 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 no. I was just saying. I was more. So, I was trying to remember. Like I was trying to remember the fight. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that I seen it because I like. I like Drew Dober. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He swole as hell. He a pretty boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that last fight that swole he had hell. with um. Recent. Drew Dober versus. Really recent. Oh man, it was a banger. Uh, I think it was De Silva. Mm. I think it was uh, Drew mm. Dober versus De Silva, and they was out there. Swinging mm -hmm. and banging, and the silver was out there. Oh man, yeah, I think it was. I'm, I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, so three of us is going for Moicano, and <laughs> you, the last man out with Riddell. <laughs> See, that's the thing. It's like I don't. I'm going with with the squad. You know, sometimes <laughs> yeah. I go with my heart instead of my head. You know. Oh yeah, I do that. I do that too. You know? Yeah, I do it too sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Like Dan Hooker. So I guess you going with Hooker too. Uh, that's all I was. I was fighting. We'll get there. Oh, that's on the. It's right. It's right now. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Who, who'd yeah. you pick? I uh, I want Dan to win, but I think I'm going uh, Puelas. I think Claudio's gonna get it done. Fuck. Really? I do. Oh. Because, okay, and let me tell you why. Good, I had no idea who this man was, but I had to do a, a piece on him for the Spanish uh -huh. team. He be and then I started he has really, legit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Nasty knee bars. Um, yeah. but then also like he was on tough mm. for um it Latin America. Clicked in my head. And okay. he had just lost. Weed his ass up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that and, he hit him with a guillotine, I think. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. that, that was the knee that's, bar. That's yeah, that was the knee bar. That. He had two back. Oh, that knee bar was sick. You remember that? That's, no, I know I have to see that's it. That's Clay Guida. Yeah. Like, this damn hooker. <laughs> it was somebody else. Let me see. That, this is the hangman he's fighting though. 
This the hangman. Hey, but my boy got <laughs> how many fights? 30, 33 fights? Your boy needs a win. Jeez. That's what he needs. And I feel like he about to get it. Put me <laughs> down. Telling. Put me down for Dan Hooker, the hangman. <laughs> this is his redemption right here. Plus he got his whole squad on the on his side yeah. with him. Like, oh. Yeah. I hope he does win. I'm with Dan. I'm, I'm going with Dan too. Dan, I'm going with Dan. I, he because he needs it. You know the thing is also those fights he's losing is like top fighters, mm-hmm. like big top, top fighters, top of the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and Arnold but, Allen at one forty. What, what's this fight at one forty five? No, this is one fifty five. So he going fifty five. He's uh, going back up. But Claudio's See, on I'll, a seven five win streak. I also don't like that either, though. I don't like that bouncing around. It's either you gotta go. Because you don't know where your your standings are at right now. Because you mm-hmm. just got pieced up by Arnold Allen at one forty five. He got mm-hmm. beat by Islam, and, and then he beat uh, Nasirat. Beat him too. Both killers, though. <laughs> Both killers, no though. He didn't have no business losing to Nasirat, though. No, no, no. He won. No, Nasirat won. He, he won. Yeah. I mean, no, Dan Hooker won. I'm no, sorry. He, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. By decision, though. Yeah, but but mm-hmm. he Dan Dan clearly had won that fight. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I'm yeah. rocking with Dan, man. I think he got this. He about I'm to end this Dan man's. Too. <laughs> go in this young man's. I little want trajectory. Dan to win, but I, I just feel like I feel like people Claudio are sleeping on Claudio because they don't necessarily really know who he is. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you right be. now, yeah. it's not gonna be a good thing if Dan Hooker loses this fight just because oh, not at like all. you can you lose to the cut? top. No. No, okay. I, I don't think so. I think he goes, I think yeah, like his his association with with, kickbox, with city kickboxing yeah. and like the UFC really seems to like him. Uh, but the thing is, is that like you start looking at him differently because like if you lose to the yeah. top, like we said, it's like yeah, yeah. but that's the top. Like that can yeah. happen mm-hmm. when you start losing to somebody that's not even in the top fifteen. Mm. Then we start being like, oh, mm-hmm. well, Wait maybe, a minute. Maybe, yeah. maybe you. You know, maybe uh, Dustin Poirier took too much out of you in that fight of the year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we could um, also so... give him a pass for that fight against Islam because it was a short notice and he was coming oh, yeah. back from Australia. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like that's what everybody's remembering. And it's Islam. Yeah. He's a champion, yeah. dominant champion, I, I, in my opinion, now from based off he of his performances. Like so, you know, Dan Hooker losing to him, like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> but if he loses to Claudio, then we're gonna have to reassess Dan Hooker. But in my mind, Dan Hooker is still the hangman. He's still that killer, and he. Yo, he's a bit what's his? Too. Oh, he's six. He's six foot, bro. Like six yeah, he, foot he, versus I think he five eight, this, bro. I think twenty six versus thirty two. As long as he, as long as he don't get caught up in some jujitsu, I think he'll be fine. <laughs> he might. <though>. <laughs> <laughs> he might. Claudio might not be he big might, enough to take really him down might. though. Because Claudio was real slick when he took down uh, uh, Clay Guida. It was nasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, it was so was, good. Yeah. We were yelling like, oh, my God. Because we, I, we yeah. love jujitsu too. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. that's a science. It's literally science and math and, like, yeah. geometry. You move this way, you have mm-hmm. to move this way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. Yeah, so. Scott, who'd you, who'd you take? You take Claudio? Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking Claudio. All the girls are taking Claudio. <laughs> is it because he's handsome? <laughs> is it because he's handsome? <laughs> uh, you know, it's just, hey, I just think people sleeping on him. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's one of those toss I keep looking, I'm like, ah, he needs that win, though. Yeah. He got hands. Yeah, he definitely needs to win. I don't think people understand that. Sometimes fights take pieces, every fight takes pieces of you. Yes. So getting slept or getting beat up, and that's why... After that fucking um, fight with Tony Wagechi, mm-hmm. he was not the same never human. The same. Never. He was never the no. same human. That he was... will never be. Yeah. Uh, like not like like you said, a human. Like he will never be the same person that walked out of his house. Like his yeah. kids will never meet the same person. Like yeah. He, I love Tony Ferguson. Tony. Like love love Tony. Me and my brother are massive fans. But like to watch that, that was the first fight coming back from the pandemic, and then yeah. to see. We were like, he shouldn't take that fight. At all. Period. He was on a 12-fight win streak. The fucking yep. pandemic came, messed up yep. everything. Messed up everything. He should have just sat down and waited. I was like, why, Tony? Just wait. Just wait. He like, maybe needed that I don't money know at it, that time. I think it was a money type of thing. because, And then he cut weight twice. He did that weight cut like five weeks before and then cut weight for the real fight. 
yeah, you can't put yourself in them situations. And now he'll never be the same. Like No. no. And, and when I was watching him, he, fights. He, he had a glimmer when he fought Chandler before that knockout. Yeah. That he was starting to look okay. But... Yeah, he looked yeah, but good. then Chandler took all the pieces yeah, away just... from him again. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, oh, Tony? Can't, yeah, yeah, Tony. You can't take that yeah. kind of damage and them kind of hits. And no. Charles, it's like, it's oh. too much. It's just too much at one time, you know? <laughs> it's sad to see that. Oh, it's but so the sad. thing is, but, and, the and, thing and, is, that's how he fights. And all those fights before when he was winning, he would be getting his ass beat, his ass beat, his ass beat, and then he'll pull out a win. So is this not conducive of a good lifestyle as well? You know, people were like, oh, he, he's coming with the, you know, his elbows, and he, it's violent. Even if you win, you're going to be beat up. But it's like, yeah, bro, you're going to beat up too. Yeah, it's like your brain yeah. doesn't know that you're winning this fight as well. You know, it's yeah. like that shit hurts. Getting punched in the face doesn't feel good. No. At all. At all. Um, and then, you know, Frankie Edgar's farewell, his retirement fight up against Chris Gutierrez. Um, Frankie's done. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, that's, that's, that's my guy. I feel you, but don't do my guy like that, bro. That's a legend hey, right he, there. Hey, you're OG, and I fuck with him, and thank you for everything, all the entertaining fights you yeah. guys, bro. But this is it right here. My guy took him out like old yeller. I feel like. Yeah, I'm I agree so too. But I'm going for Frankie motherfucking Edgar. I don't care. <laughs> I plain and simple, Dang. just like that. Frankie. I'm going my, like I said. I'm going I was looking. Sometimes at, I go I was with my heart. Like, that's who I want to win. Who's probably gonna yeah, win yeah. is probably Chris. Yeah. But mm-hmm. hey, when you fight in dogs of dogs, he a different breed, bro. And it, like we said, pieces is. getting taken out of you. Corey took his life away. Cheeto took his life away. You know, it's hard. And those, and he's just old and. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. old, bro. Like, yeah. I, I was looking at him today at the press conference. We I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Boy, yes. he's looking weathered. Yeah. And I'm like, just from right, his, bro. Like, when he yeah, it Gino. is about that time. Shit. Now that I'm looking at you, like, but yeah, you it's know about what? that time. You know what? All leading up to that front uh, kick to the face, mm-hmm. he was beating Cheeto, he was out you wrestling so? him. No, it's just a fact. He was holding he was his ass all his around ass and pounding. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like it was just a fact. Which I didn't understand. This is like side note. Why the fuck did Cheeto have on tidy whities and then like <laughs> the back cut of the shorts? Like that was weird. We were seeing his tidy whities and the jock strap. Like go back. <laughs> well, you ain't gotta go oh, back and watch under, it. And under, I was just when like, he them, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's going on, Cheeto? Like you you pick that style of shorts and then you got tidy whities on. Like that's <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, have you, I know you guys seen but the, the slow motion of his kick, oh, his man. face, how his face looked. Oh, oh yeah, man. the slow mo, his skin no, moving not the slow, way but after yeah, the shot. Yeah, it got scrunched up. It's, it that's like, just wild. Yeah. They did it to Tony too. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, the same I shit. Him. Hey, but the uh, thing about Frankie Edgar though, I'm gonna say about this fight is that, um, I mean, yeah, boy, like yeah, as good as he is, old boy is. Is aged and weathered, and he didn't. Yeah. He didn't take some damage. He didn't took some yeah. damage. So even though he was wrestling, old boy, well, guess what? He he slowed down because he got tired, you mm-hmm. know, and then got and then got caught, and that's just how it is with the age thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can't. It, like I feel like you can train as much as you want to or as hard as you can, but yes. age is always gonna catch up to you and bite you in the ass. And five miles. And 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 this is kind of the this kind of sport is that you can't have that. It, that's your life yeah. on the line. That's your brain on the yeah. line. That's mm-hmm. your body on the exactly. line. And it's like yeah. once it comes to a point in time, it's like shit. He might not even should have took this fight. <laughs> You know, exactly. and that's, that's like, how I'm feeling. That's how I'm feeling. And especially how I've been saying that he needs this to dude is done. this dude is 31 years old. He's at his prime. He's at his peak. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. he's bigger. Because 31 he's is not old person. at all. But no, that's your prime. You start and five miles. Yeah. Five miles, like you up there. Bro. No, Frankie. Like, he's, Frankie he's, is no, no, no. Frankie's 41. 41. He's 41. Oh, 41. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other dude yeah. is 31. Yeah. And and he's bigger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's just kind of like a yeah you and he's, <laughs> you come, sharp. and he's on a win streak. I think he's like on a five fight win streak oh, no. or something like that. Like damn, five fights is crazy. Yeah, so it, it's not a good you know. But hey, I'm gonna rock with the dog though. Yeah, this you is know definitely how I know. A, a, hey, this anything is, can this happen in this shit. Yeah. That's the thing. 
<laughs> That's why I love this sport because yeah. anything yeah. can happen. You be right. shocked off your ass about some random shit that you didn't see coming and it happened because right. you and you went to turn your head or sneeze or something and you have missed it. That shit happened to me too often. I hate that shit. <laughs> and that's, what, that's what we always say too when, when we're talking about fights. When people be like, oh, he can't beat him. You're like, oh, so you must have not never been in a fight, huh? Because right. you right. catch one thing here, you catch one thing here, and anything can fucking happen. You don't know what the fuck. Right. Anybody can be beat right. in the ring. You throw anybody. a punch, you slip, boom, anything can fucking happen. Are people more skilled well, than other people? Well, yes. Man. Exactly. That's the poster for that Perfect. fight. That's the poster mm-hmm. for that saying right there. It's like, yeah. nah, bro. Anything, anything can happen. happen. It don't matter. Time, long, you better Glover stay be, on your PZ. Glover got choked out with, <laughs> what, 50 seconds left on the clock, 30 seconds on the clock. Anything mm-hmm. can happen in any way can happen. Shit, you can just get injured and still lose the fucking fight and the belt is gone. Right? Like, we've seen yep. it all too much. So, that's remember the that, beauty of remember the sport. Remember that Derek Lewis fight? Who was it? Derek Lewis uh, oh, versus uh, 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 Volkov? Volkov, yeah. He beat his ass with one second on the clock. Yeah. Yeah. Too. The Zombie ultimate with, comeback. Uh, uh, Yair. That was yeah, the, probably the, the best. Oh my God. Yeah, oh with the up God. elbow. With a second, how the fuck you even throw that and you run into that shit? <laughs> and right. it's crazy because you it you see him looking and throwing it like you see mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. it wasn't like a lucky shot like he nah. was. That's crazy. Bro was sleep 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 like you know there's a difference between getting KO but this man was snoring face planted on the ground like yeah that yeah. right and there that's what that, they say that, it's that the ones that special, you don't bro. see. The ones you don't see is the ones that put your ass out. And you definitely ain't seen that shit. <laughs> no, right. Nobody saw that. We were there watching it. We didn't even see what happened. Yeah. We just saw right. a dude hit the ground. We was like, oh, what yeah. happened? <laughs> Damn, zombie. Absolutely that's another crazy. one, too. Love him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then Dustin Poirier and Michael Chandler. I mean, so this, I think we got to spend some time on this one a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm going for Dustin. I'm going for Dustin. I've been a fan of his for a very long time. I I hated on Chandler for a long time coming because he they Jumped rocketed his the ass up uh, against a lot of fighters. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? But I started to like this guy. He's beautiful on the mic. He talks so good. He fights and he's bringing the drama all the time. He's like, fuck it, I'm going to come here and swing and bang. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And he, I think he, I don't even give a, I don't think he cares about the belt. <laughs> he's like, I'm going to come here and put on a show. And make money. Yep. Yeah. Dana brought yep. me over here to put on a show. I don't give a fuck. If the belt comes, I'm with it. And I hate on him for so, so, so long. I'm, I'm a halfway fan. <laughs> A, but, but he always seems to be fighting the fighter that we are going. We for. go for it, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying. <laughs> so it's like, he is perfect on the mic, yeah. like he's, perfect. Yes. He's not a hater. Very articulate. He's not a. He's like, bro. He's good at this. He's mm-hmm. good at this. But I'm gonna do this and this. I like that kind of shit. Like, give yeah. the person that you're gonna fight a little bit of props because mm-hmm. y'all about to go to war. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all Super know what nice, it is. humble guy. Yeah, yeah. my locker room too. When I was training at my old gym, uh, A4 Fitness, I used to post on my story all the time. And Michael Chandler used to watch my stories. And I'd be like, oh, oh, who, is, yeah. who is, yeah, I used, to, I used to be like, who is this guy? He got the blue check mark. I'm like, who is this guy that keeps watching my stories? And I look and I see he's like the current Bellator champion and stuff. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. You know, so I go on, like, I start checking him out and everything before I even, like, got the deal to go to the UFC. So mm-hmm. I, I started rocking with him based off of that. But obviously, dude could fight. As we can see, fight. you know, yeah, yeah, dude, like you said, trajectory to this top, right? Yeah, but he showed for up. good purpose for good reason, yeah. yeah, because he actually, I don't know how many, how many he's got right now, but I'm sure he's got plenty of uh, fight of the nights underneath his belt already in the UFC. And he kind of three out of his still. four. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, yeah, this man got fireworks every time he shows up. We yeah. love watching this man win or lose. Yeah. We gonna enjoy this fight. <laughs> but. Uh, but on that note, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and give it to Dustin just because of the competition <laughs> that he's been facing lately. And I mean, Dustin is there. You gonna he's one of these people you are gonna have to kill. You are gonna have to put this man's lights out in order to stop him from. I think that goes ball. both ways though. It goes both ways. Like Chandler, you yeah, went, it, it, I the fight with him and Gaethje was. We called both of them right. the white zombies. They both were just on some. Right. 
like some hundred percent beat your ass. Them uppercuts, them uppercuts that oh Gaethje God. was landing oh on him, bro, yeah. should have flatlined him, and he was eating them, licking his lips, smiling, <laughs> yeah, on. waving them on. He's like, "That's it. Come on, give me some more. I want to get hit." Like I'm like, "All right, man, chill out." And the thing, I think they're very <laughs> on par with each other, like with the people who they fought. They basically on a they circle fight. of fighting the same yeah. kind of people. Exactly. And that's why I love 155, because that's kind of like the skill level of everything they do. They're all kind of on par. Like, oh, mm -hmm. Chandler can wrestle. Dustin's decent at wrestling. Dustin has jujitsu and striking. Chandler has strike. He hits hard as hell. I, it, it's like one of these suits. We in for a treat. That's yeah. the, what I'm saying. Like, it's a treat. We are, we're yeah. definitely in for a treat. Yeah. But I, I'm feeling like. I was listening to Chandler's um, media scrum today, and I feel like, you know, like earlier you were saying you don't think that he cares about the bell, like he want to go out there and have a good time, but he had a different tone today. He was like, hey, I need to go out there and get a win. He's like, and mm -hmm. I believe that the way I fight in general, he's like, even when I was a wrestler, I was still going for the win, and I feel like he got his, I feel like he's coming in with his wrestling shoes on, um, and we're going to have to see Dustin's uh, jiu-jitsu hold up, because mm -hmm. Michael Chandler, D1 division walk-on mm -hmm. wrestler. You know what I mean? I, I just feel like we're going to see – I'm just leaning towards Chandler. I want Dustin to win, but but I just, I'm just leaning towards Chandler. I just feel like Chandler's not going to go in there. Like, he said he's been working on, like, mental stuff to, like, stop him from getting – because he said the last time he was at Madison Square Garden against Gaethje, like, they had a plan, and he threw the plan out the window. <laughs> it was it like, fuck it, let's bang. Let's yeah. bang. So now he's like – all right, he no, like, let 19. me win. <laughs> he really did. Like, that's well, that's what I'm saying. We haven't really seen him u utilize that that D1 wrestling. Smart. You mm -hmm. know, he always getting in some dog fights, but, and it's like. But you know what, those guys. I thought you think he was gonna wrestling. throw that shit out the window. <laughs> he gonna throw it out the window. It sounded. You, so? you were in Madison yeah. Square Garden, prime time, two eighty one, one of the best cars of the year. <laughs> Let's like against one of the best fighters fight in the division. The he's, gonna, he's probably not yeah. gonna be like, oh man, okay, the bell's coming. He's like, nah, put them fifty G's in my pocket <laughs> and let's throw these things. Hey, listen, I don't have a problem with wrestling. What I have a problem with is laying and praying. I you can wrestle, yes. but if you gonna be like Habib and be down there smashing oh somebody and talking shit, oh, yeah, oh I'm here funny. for it. Smash, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm there for that. Yeah. All day. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's a I'm I'm going for Dustin. Yeah. But I think it's gonna it's be I think it's gonna be bombs. So okay, okay, okay. So Damien, who you got? I'm gonna ask him how fight? you think they want. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going I'm rocking with Dustin because How do you think he I, wins? So I'm, I'm looking at the stats right now. I think he gets KO. I think he KOs Michael Chandler. Ooh. And I'm looking at the stats right now and everything is pretty similar. Like into into like their height and their reach advantage, except for that leg reach. They're yeah. almost the same height too, but Dustin got a long ass leg reach. Almost what is that? Oh, is it thirty seven forty? Okay, it's so everything and a half everything's and ev yeah. okay. Yeah, everything's pretty close. It's so small on my screen. It looks like twenty seven. So I was gonna oh, say, okay. damn, how is that even possible? <laughs> but nah, I'm rocking with I'm rocking with Dustin. I think he got he been up there with the with the elite. So I mean, mm -hmm. so has Chandler, but yeah. he hasn't. He hasn't made it through the same All runs the that through. Dustin yeah. Poirier yeah. made it through. So, and that's you know, the thing I feel that's like crazy that, that resume like really matters. Mm -hmm. We go through fights, and because like I said, I forget a lot of fights, and we're like, "Who doesn't fight?" This dude fought Conor McGregor, Everybody. Max Holloway, mm -hmm. <laughs> Charles mm -hmm. Oliveira. Did he mm -hmm. fight Cowboy? Yes, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, it's Cowboy like fought Cowboy, Cowboy, yeah, Cowboy didn't fight. He fought Cubby. It's like mm -hmm. you like, damn, them is all killers. 155 is crazy. Michael Chandler, too. You go down his list, but then he was in Bellator for a long time. We're not going to take away from those fighters, but they ain't the same. Yeah. You know? That's, Scott, who you got? Dustin almost, Dustin almost cup. Uh, uh, could be even a, what mm. was it, a little guillotine or something? He almost got him. Nah, let me tell y'all what I learned about Dustin. Go back. After round number two, right before he got submitted, Dustin goes, he sits down on the stool, and he's upset, and he's like, mm -hmm. can't get the motherfucker off me. I can't yeah, get him off me. He did say and that. at that moment, I said, it's a wrap. It's, it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. oh, it yeah, was over. Was and that's before. when Habib grabbed his back. This man was already tapping before the choke, he, before he the choke was in. locked in. 
Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, go back and watch he, it. Yeah, he felt it. He was it. frustrated. <laughs> he felt it. He was like, I can't get him off of me. Bruh, Listen, it's different. Um, it, it, it really is different. Um, but I, I'm going with Chandler. I just feel like I feel like mm, he's really? gonna really. I think he's gonna utilize his his wrestling this time around. And you know, he says that like when he takes you down, that he's not gonna uh, let him back up. So, so what you think? How how do you think he's gonna win? Um, ground and pound. Ooh. TKO. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with it. <laughs> See, I be asking her this question, she don't never want to answer me. She's like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Who you got? I got, I got Dustin, I, but I think yeah. it's gonna go um, to decision. I'm gonna go Dustin in decision too, but in a banger, like on yeah. some crazy shit, just like like fireworks. I think it's gonna be fire I mean, tonight. There's no doubt that du- I definitely think it's gonna be fire tonight, and there's no doubt that Dustin's boxing is better, uh, definitely sharper. And I think after getting hit with a couple of them shots, because Dustin got power. Mm-hmm. I think Chandler oh, Chandler got precision. power too. But I think like I just think that like exactly it's that precision. Cause when you mix timing with yep. accuracy and power, it's dangerous. It's and I think Chandler Yes. And I think Chandler is gonna be like, Hey, I'm a wrestler. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> Don't forget I'll where you that. came from. <laughs> ah, I, you know? I agree. But I think I think uh, Dustin still I think he I think he ends up sleeping Chandler honestly I feel like I I feel mm. like Chandler is gonna get a little too excited and he's gonna get mm. caught that's how I'm feeling right now. Let's see. Cause Dustin a sharpshooter. Dustin he is really a sniper. Is. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he really got good leg kicks and all that too. Mm-hmm. Brad, he's a well-rounded well, he's fighter. He's well-rounded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it'll be real interesting to see. Um. And then you know the co-main Carla Esparza, <laughs> Zhang Wei Li. Every, I, I'm gonna answer for everybody here. We got Wei Li. Don't even, don't even play. Don't even play. We already yeah. know what it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you are correct. Don't even, don't even play. I already know. Yeah, so we have an, we have another superstition in this house. So we're crazy. Like I said, we go back and watch all the fights, and we're mm-hmm. there was one time that we had a week of watching fights back and we watched Amanda fight mm-hmm. all her fights we were like oh man she's gonna she's gonna fuck Penny up, uh, and then she Penny lost. Penny up. yes yeah. we're like no we're never doing that shit again we're not never doing that again <laughs> we're literally break we we're watching all the fucking fights from the bottom from the top of her losses from back in the day I was like damn I want to go watch Zhang fight again um her her other fights when she fought um Andrade I want to see them knees and all that shit but I'm, I'm not going to do it because I don't want Carla to fucking and <laughs> don't steal that. that shit fuck <laughs> like I don't want to be mean and stuff but I can't she's a nice person but like <laughs> fuck bro I don't want her to win this fucking fight again <laughs> I just can't not because there's so many better opportunities if Zhang's the champion right now, like, Rose yeah. can come back and fight. Other girls can come back and fight. Exactly. We don't want to see her fight. We don't want to see Carla. The only thing that sucks is that she don't have that English, and I hate hearing the translators and stuff, but she's a yeah. fucking beast. Mm-hmm. She's a yeah. beast. Oh, yeah. I 100%. love her. And we, like I said, she she trained in her karate and taekwondo, and we always watch the um, the embeddeds and the, 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 um, the countdowns. And her mm-hmm. training, you see her kicking and pushing. It's like, bop, 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 bop. I seen and her training see... at the gym. Oh my god! And it's like, it's, it's, it's when, like thunder hitting yeah, the backs. Yeah, and I was like sitting there, like, cause they give us like they like let the employees take like classes or whatever. And so I was in the striking class, and like, so she had just came off the bags because our class was coming up, and she's like sitting there watching us, and I'm thinking to myself, if you don't look away, fucking, <laughs> 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 I don't somewhere want you seeing me. Yes. <laughs> And then, uh, and then you see Carla throwing her shit. I'm like, it, it don't equate. It don't equate nah, to what I want. I don't want. I don't and want. And Lee has the wrestling. Bro, she, she has wrestling, wrestling like well. a motherfucker. She's yes, strong. she's strong as hell. She's gonna picking up Nganu. Bro, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all see that? Three oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, who you got? I got Zang. I got Zang too. Everybody. I said that. Wei I've been saying Damian that since Carla got the belt. <laughs> How do you guys think she's nah. gonna win though? You think it's a decision or she knocking her ass out? TKO. TKO. 
TKO. It's hard for the women's division though. Like seeing TKOs, I feel like it's pretty. Did you rare see last weekend's one. fight? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Two oh. out of the three female fights, both were I, knockouts. I understand that, but I still feel like it's a rare commodity. That's why it is rare. That's why I like Shit. seeing some of the female JJ fighters that I love watching, rare. like like Guasso, like yeah, she sure. out there. Oh, pink, 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 you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's certain females that you see that like actually got power and precision, mm-hmm. as if like you could tell that they're training with men and the, and they ain't going light on them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like Carla's not gonna be able to hang. Honestly, I hope Carla shoots in for a takedown and Zang hits her with a fucking knee on the injury and just puts her ass <laughs> to sleep. That'd be super <laughs> fire. That'd be crazy fire. Yeah. Either. That's either that or either that or an uppercut. We seen what uh Derek Lewis oh. did to Curtis Blades. Oh, oh my god. god. Timed it Bruh. perfectly. Yeah, yeah. sent him to uh, another dimension with that uppercut. That, yeah. He woke up. I don't think like, a, yeah. What happened? I don't even want to know what that feels like. You feel me? Like And you heard it. You probably you probably you don't even feel anything. You just wake up in pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. And you know what? Like he's so disappointed females, too though. I know people that hate on Derek Lewis. Like they hate watching him fight. I love they think him. He, what? Like, doesn't deserve because to be up there and shit. He's, he's yeah, and I was telling him, like, I was I like, "Are you him. kidding me? Like this man is at the top of the food chain with the killers, and he's still knocking people out with one shot and stuff." Like, nah, bro. Like if you could hang up there in the heavyweight division, in the top ten, in the top five, then bro, you deserve there to be there for a reason. <laughs> I think it's just the effort he puts in. Yeah, you know. He yeah he doesn't look like the most athletic but I mean it goes to showing that division hey every division look at the bantamweight division versus that division bantamweight they slanging leather left and right mm-hmm. but guess what they don't got that same type of power to end it in one I mean I'm sure they do got the same power to end it in one shot but nah the heavyweight power is different and even the heavyweights respect that shit you feel yeah. me like I love they get one He's time. A personality. Get, oh yeah that's what I I'm saying. <laughs> Dude I was is, so upset when he took me. I, 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 I think he kind of self sabotages himself a little bit. You know, he mm. gets to a point where he gets there, and I don't think he wants to do all the stuff that comes with, like mm-hmm. becoming a champion and, and and becoming like the face of things. Because well, Engano's not doing that, but if <laughs> if you're kind of like the heavyweight champion of the UFC, you're the baddest motherfucker on the planet, basically. You know on what I'm planet. saying? Like, right. mm-hmm. especially his big ass. Like, bro, you walk around two sixty. And you got fucking cinder block hands. Who gon' like? Who gonna test you on this earth? Nobody. No right. gonna press But you. I don't Nobody. think he put he puts in. Cause I get so sad and he gets slept. Like I'd be like, fuck, bro. And the yeah. thing is, like when he fights I mean, in Texas, he be like, oh, I had too much pressure. I'm like, that's when you should shine. Mm-hmm. When you in your hometown, yeah. be like I'm about to put on for my city or my state. Like, and he just he dims his light when it comes to those moments. Yeah. Nah, I think what happens is uh, he explodes with like four, five, six, seven, eight shots as a heavyweight. Gets tired, knowing he ain't in shape for that, and doesn't want to pull, doesn't want to pick his hands up anymore because he's so tired. And he <laughs> kind of accepts defeat, you know. He does. And he if does, you don't, he does and if you, it, and, yeah. Yeah, and if he doesn't get knocked out, then he's gonna still sling like that haymaker, hoping it connects. And if it connects, yep. and you know, then there's a W right there. But mm-hmm. I've seen a few fights where a dude is eating shots, and it's like, oh, bro, you ain't looking too good. Mm-hmm. Ain't looking you know, good at all. Although you know he, he's up there though <laughs> with the speaking, with the elite. Speaking of like female strikers, because we were talking about, because I had been talking about this fight the other day, and I had to go back and find it. Go back to the Cater and Emmett card, um, and watch. Uh, Natalie Silva versus Jasmine Jazz Davidicus. Okay, mm. so Natalie Silva is going to be fighting November 19th, so coming up. I have to watch that but again. Her, oh, yeah, so next weekend. But this fight right here, let me see if it's... Uh, is it on the screen for y'all? Yeah. Go back and watch That's this. Small, go back and watch her. It was her okay. UFC debut. Like, write this down and go back and watch this fight. Jasmine Jazz Davidicus versus We've Natalie Silva. We've seen it. I don't Silver's remember it, but debut. I... Let me tell you, this motherfucker was in there looking like a female Izzy, picking her apart. 
Yes. We watched that. We watched that. Yes. Yeah, she's smooth as hell. Yes. Nasty. I mm-hmm. cannot wait to see her fight next week. Like, you want to see some good female striking? I mean, stayed oh, on yeah, the I'm outside and blah, blah. That. Oh, The yes. footwork yeah. was disgusting. Because I remember, I remember you po- re- back and posted yes. it after the fight. You were like, oh, because yes. we watched it. Um, yes. Yeah, she's smooth. She's a young. She's young. Yeah, we gotta go back. We gotta go back and watch it. Yeah. No, you watch, go back, watch it. But I'm, I'm gonna go back and, and watch it too. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go back and watch it too because, like, I will never forget seeing that. I was like, wait a goddamn minute. Like, she looks good. Okay, now let's go ahead. Let's get into it. The main fucking event: Israel Adesanya mm-hmm. versus Alex Pereira. We could take some let's time go. with this too. Yeah. Dang. We can take some time. Let's go. We, we <laughs> here now. Even, you don't even have to ask what's going on in this house. <laughs> Yeah, my son is being see. shy, but <laughs> we already know what it is. That's his shirt right here. It's a wrinkle. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Leading up to this fight, I was going for Alex. I was thinking I, Alex. You were get going it done. for him, or Let you thought take... he was going to win? <laughs> see, those are two different things. Let me let me let me break it down, right? Because <laughs> for the division, for the division. Uh, yeah, for yeah, the yeah. excitement, the I was division. like, "Man, I want Alex to win so we can get like some type of competition for Israel." <laughs> but I, of shit. course, I want I want Israel to win. But as this gotten closer and closer, and I've really just been like thinking about who the fuck Israel Adesanya is. <laughs> I, Alex has a puncher's chance. That's just the way that I'm viewing this right now. Everybody I'm does. Like, Everybody does though. Yeah, but like if we just think about Izzy as an overall mixed martial artist with the experience that he has, I just I'll and if I, and I went back and I watched the fights. And I went back and I watched the kickboxing fights. Yep. Um and I was like, we okay, the first year. fight mm-hmm. was close. Yeah, the yeah, first fight close. between them it was mm-hmm. close. The second fight, Izzy was winning, and then Alex, like I don't know people for, were like, Oh, huh? Thank you for saying that because when they're doing all the highlights, they just show him, is he going to slap? Is he going to no, slap? Yeah, yeah. Is he going to slap? I mean, that, yeah, of course. So I would do that same shit if I was promoting the fight, too, though. Honestly. <laughs> and, it just makes sense. They should have posted standing eight when and, he was piecing his ass up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was, though. He really was. In that same fight, um, Alex got a standing eight count. Is he got yeah, a standing eight count on that. Alex? Yeah. He, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I mean? They don't bring so, that like, shit up at all. They don't talk about that part. But he was piecing him up. And then, of course, you know, we got to still give respect to the fact that Alex did come back in the third round, knowing he mm-hmm. was down, made the adjustments, and made, and connected on his <laughs> shot. And so I'm just thinking to myself, like, Izzy's a smart man. Yeah, Izzy's is. a smart man. Like, and I, the more Scott, that it's gotten very... close. How long ago were those fights? Like, what um, years? Oh, so oh, Izzy oh. got into the UFC oh, in 2000. I want to say 2014. Let me 14. see. Oh, wow, a minute ago. Yeah. So that's yeah. about yeah, eight, it was, almost it was ten years. Ago. Almost ten years ago. And Izzy been Izzy been active, man. Like he been in this cage doing this shit, showing out, fighting the best in the world, and and on top on top of his fucking game, he's been on his p's and q's. Alex Pereira, don't get me wrong, homeboy is looking like a savage in there. The way he's just walking savage. people down, just the way he's just walking people down. Dude looks like a video game boss. Right, like he really does. you playing, you playing like a boxing game. This is the guy you fighting at the very end, like oh shit. <laughs> but right, you, but as as you were saying, Sky, like Izzy's been growing. He's super talented and skilled, and I think he knows what he's up against already. He's probably mm-hmm. watched mm-hmm. the fights more than anybody else has watched the fights to 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 practice for this moment because he knew that this moment was gonna come. Right. He he even talked about it. He was like, as soon as I saw that he was signed with the UFC, he was like, I knew I was going to meet him at the top, and Dude, look where he's at. at. But the road that Izzy took coming into the UFC was a lot rougher than the than the road that Alex took. I feel yep. like Izzy fought Izzy fought some more skilled, higher level opponents than Alex did to get to the championship fight. Mm-hmm. And let's not talk about how. You know, the fight's going to be the fight. Uh, we, like, you can do MMA math all you want. And we sit down there and break that shit. And he fought this person. They fought this person. Like, 
Alex had a fight with uh, Bruno Silva. It was yeah. it was back and forth. It oh, was yeah. a thing. It wasn't like he went in there and just washed his ass. And that was a three round fight. And he was looking a little drained and a little tired. Mm -hmm. So this is a five round fight. And Izzy's been in what six of those things. And his conditioning so, is amazing. And if you look at his YouTube, yeah. you see that he's doing all the water work. Like he never breathes Always. out of yeah. his, his mouth. breathing. His breathing is mm -hmm. crazy. The thing is, like, I don't know. I, I, Y'all know who I want. And I hate talking about this. Because if you get into it, you keep talking, you keep talking, you keep talking. Because I hate being sad on Saturday night. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hate that shit, too. Fucks my Damn. whole night up, my whole day up. Charles fucked this So I'm going to tell you a story. So what was it, two weeks ago? We were going for the Charles fight. Mm -hmm. we we're I was looking at the clock because I had a wedding to do. I'm a bartender, if nobody knows, and I do, like, drinks and shit. So we're looking at the time. Also, my son plays football, and we're like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't know what the schedule's going to be. Boom, his game gets canceled to another day. We're like, yeah, we're in there. The fight start early. We're like, yeah, we're in there. We're like, oh, my God. We're we're counting down the time. We're watching the fight. <laughs> O'Malley's winning. Aljo's winning. We're like, oh, we, we, we're in the stage. Charles comes up. We're like, fuck, we got to go to this wedding. We got to set this shit up. Oh, we got to go. And we're driving. She's like, Charles lost. I'm like, my whole, my whole, my whole night was just like, I don't even want to come do this shit no more. Like, fuck. So <laughs> we take it so like our people are our, our people. Yes. So this is like my person. So I don't, I don't want to get into like the, uh, he got this or he's going to do that. And this is going to happen. I'm just like, ah, I'm going to be like this on Saturday. Like, ah, I stand <laughs> no, up like real. I'm in the fucking fight. Like, oh my God, I'm going to be jumping in. Oh, it's gonna this be. Gonna um, be this gonna this gonna be one of them fights you can't look away do for not, one second. You can't. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> do not. I'm gonna Man, jump no, up and I'm gonna be. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna totally, be so tight. I totally feel you on that because, like, nobody. I don't feel like anybody in the world was more sad, sadder than me. International fight night, watching Max Holloway get beat. That broke. I uh, felt like Max. Like if y'all watch Marvel and y'all see where Iron Man <laughs> dies. That's what oh that was God. like for me. Like I was heartbroken because I've seen Max lose before. I seen him lose to Dustin. Right. Losing is not the mm -hmm. problem. That I said, oh shit! I had to do. I didn't watch anything is, after that. Max, <laughs> Max was different that whole week to me. Yeah, he was. He had a whole bunch of bravado where I'm like, that yeah. don't seem like Max it's for not. some reason. He yeah. usually cool and mm -hmm. chill and. Yeah. And then yeah. he got out there. I was like, "What the yeah. fuck? Come on! Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, yeah. fight! You got this! You can do it!" And it was just, and it the, wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that. <laughs> and the thing about Max yeah. is, is that like Max will never say if something was off or if something was weird. Like he right. would never give an excuse. Like even when they fought the first time, and his cousin was killed six days before that fight on his birthday, murdered. Like. And he just walked out with the headband on. He never talked about it. You know what I mean? Like, if my cousin gets killed six days before my fight, on oh, my birthday, I'm fucked up. <laughs> right. Like, you know what I mean? 100%. Um, but, but, yeah, so I totally understand. Like, once, I, once I'm attached, like, once I'm a fan, it's for life. Like, and so. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's going to. Gonna, yeah, we were the same way on that fight, too. Yeah. yeah. We were the same way on the second fight, too. Uh, no, not, not the second fight. I was pissed. Uh, he won that fight to me. Is. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. I've watched that fight too many times. Um, <laughs> that's not even something I even want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I fuck with Israel too, because he 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 a real cool, calm, collected guy. Super slick on the mic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we love to hear him speak when he does got something to say. But like he was talking about it in the press conference, like he got no excuses. Like yeah, he got beat the last two yep. times. And he's you like coming in and talking about, hey, he ain't gonna beat me this time, nigga. Like this is MMA and this is my yes. shit and I'm running this. Let's shit. go. So you have if you, to accept if you it, want yeah. it, like you gonna have to come in here and you gonna have to show it, you know. And that's why, bro, I'm so like a lot of main events. I'm not like normally it's the co-main event that's the main event, mm -hmm. right? This is the main event yeah. right here for me. Like this is the one right here. Like I'm tuned in. I'm not missing this fight. Yeah. For nothing. Yeah. I don't care what's it's gonna... going on. I was talking to her just 30 minutes before we got on. I think Izzy's super smart. Excuse me. I think 
he's going to continue his fight style. He's going to be on the outside, leg kicks and things like that. But I think he's going to grapple, not in the grapple, like, oh, I'm going to yeah, take you down. Like I think it's going to be a lot of clinch work yeah. on the cage, dirty boxing, things like that, like still rounds here and there. And I said around the second round, it's probably going to open up a little bit more with striking. But I just, I'm just hoping I, I'd be so clinched up. I just don't want him to get slept on some crazy shit uh, or where it's so close it's, where they steal it and give it to uh, Alex. And it's so possible too. That's the scary yeah, thing. Yeah, right yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so possible. Because you, Izzy has to be on all twenty five minutes. Because co- what happened to Kamaru? Time. If that happens to Izzy, oh my god. We write. <laughs> we write. <laughs> <laughs> we the UFC oh, down. Yeah. Because the thing is, that's when all the haters are going to come out. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Because they're going to be like, see this, see that. He was this. He wasn't that. Bye, bye, bye. We told you mm-hmm. he couldn't do this. Yeah. But it's like, I hate, they, the fans are so fucking fickle. And all the fatters say that. It's like, we fuck up one time and then you just turn on us. Like, we're not right. yeah. been that dude for so long. Right. Like, come on, man. Right. I could already see the memes being made oh. in my head. Oh, my. Like, no, you oh, can't ready see to no, send. You can't see them. Ready to send. They just like. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he hit the canvas, everything's out there. Bruh, yeah. The the memes be so quick to come out. I'm like, how is that even possible? Like, <laughs> yeah. the dude's still talking in the octagon. <laughs> yeah. That, and you know, like, just thinking about Alex, um, if Alex wins, we know we're going to get a rematch, right? That mm-hmm. would end up happening. Yeah. So it Has mixes to. up 100%. the division. You know, it gives Rob Whitaker a chance to. Uh, that's a bad yeah. matchup for. I w- that's a bad I would have loved to have seen Rob that match. Too. That's a bad match. I would have loved to have seen that. And that, I think that's another thing, too, is like the, they jumped these fighters so quick. Mm-hmm. Like he fought Bruno Silver and the other dude. Sean Why, oh, and, oh, he fought Sean Strickland, okay. too. So he has three yeah. fights in the UFC, right? Mm-hmm. He fought the first dude. I don't know his name. Um, yeah. He need him. Yeah. He and fought Madison Silva. Went up uh, all three, <laughs> and then he fought um, Strickland. Put his ass to sleep. But it's like, you know, you fought Strickland, Why and then Strickland you get a shot at the title. Like this? <laughs> bro, Strickland he was like that. So like, oh, awkward, man. bro. Like, he be looking so <laughs> awkward to me. I was watching his sparring sessions and stuff, and he be looking awkward like that. But then they say that he has the best defense, where he's Ooh. the the man that takes the least amount of strikes. Sean Strickland, I'm like, how? I don't understand that. Sometimes numbers lie. I, I don't, don't care what you... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like yeah. they were. Because dude, dude was getting hit. Dude was getting touched. Yeah, so unfortunately... He hit him three times and put his ass down. Bruh. Unfortunately, my battery is dying, so we're going to have to start wrapping it up quick because I don't want it to die. Um, But, all right, so I think oh, just across the board, we're all rooting for Izzy. Oh yes. yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That's my dog right there. He gonna get it done. <laughs> oh, That's my I, dog. Who's gonna be I able to get him to shut up? Boring decision. Boring, boring decision. decision. No, I don't give a fuck as long as he keeps the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the belt and let's roll. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you right now. If Izzy moonwalks through Alex Pereira, you ain't gonna be able to shut him up. That man, <laughs> y'all gonna be mad at him for real, for real. That's the king. That's the for king real. of the jungle right there. Facts. Shit. Facts. Nah, but it'll be nice if you can get that um, like a Whitaker knockout coming mm-hmm. back. Boom, hitting him. Oh, or yeah. like, like Costa. Bruh, yeah. If he gets a KO so, on this, like a straight KO, like to the they moon. gotta respect him. To the moon. To the yeah, moon. Like his stardom him. goes through the moon. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm interested in it all. I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Man, y'all going to have to come back on the recap show uh, when this is all said and done. we got to take a look and, you know, just go over what's happening. Um, I plan on recording myself while watching this fight just so I can get, like, my live reactions just to see what's going to happen. You don't want to You don't want to see me. You don't want to see us. I'm going to be so tight. I want to say something else is going to be tight, but that's going to be tight, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Listen, when I'm watching fights, I am going crazy. Like, I'm yeah. screaming, I'm jumping, I'm running around the house. Like, there's a lot of... <laughs> like, I, I'm real... My neighbors are probably like, what the hell going exactly. on over there? Exactly, they fighting. Our neighbors, think... too. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think they know. Yeah. I think they know. Exactly. So, you will yeah. see two <laughs> These, these are kind of up. fights, uh, we call them holidays in our house. Yeah. <laughs> these are our holidays. Like, don't fucking message me, don't ask. Bro, like I said, I'm a bartender and I do parties and things like that. I, I turn down money 
<laughs> I'll be like, nah, I can't do shit, or I can't do this certain thing, or I can't do yeah. this at a certain time. Because I'm like, the fucking fights are on. Like, yeah. these, yeah. like, <laughs> hey, it is Especially what it is sometimes. A car, a car like this, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah. 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 No, and definitely. Night, okay. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So definitely can't And the thing it. is, people always book me for the, when they mean, like, the main shit. I'd be like, y'all don't know? <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you getting married? Charles Oliveira's about to fight. You yeah. stupid? <laughs> Dude, uh, the, the worst part be absolutely is, is like, accidentally missing a fight or something where you didn't know it was on yet. And you on Instagram oh, or something scrolling, ones, and, you, and you see him holding up the flag or something. Yes. You like, no, I didn't want to know that. Damn. Exactly. I found out Bilal Muhammad won his fight before I even saw the fight. Oh, man. Because man. Had, against against Brady. Because the the prelims had cut oh, off or, early. or whatever early. happened. Yeah. yeah. So it's just stopped the fight in the second round. I was like, no, and I couldn't catch it. I it moved on to the Dang. main card. I was I was upset. Damn. <laughs> That was yeah, a good fight. That was, <laughs> but yeah, so make sure that you guys check out um, UFC 281 this Saturday. We will yes. be back mm-hmm. to recap everything, all the craziness. Um, I'll be back for sure on Sunday. Maybe somebody else might pop in with me and recap as well. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a wrap for this episode. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And check out everybody's Drink Instagrams. Drink cocktails. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, check out everybody's yeah. Instagram, especially if you're in San Diego. Um, and, Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's a wrap. Peace out. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>